Welcome to the setup and installation video of the Thrustmaster TCA Yoke Boeing Edition. Today I will show you how to set up your newly purchased Yoke in your PC and in MSFS and X-Plane 12. I know you are very excited to fly using the Yoke but setting up correctly is equally important. So make sure you do not skip any parts of this video. Enough now, let's start. So first, make sure you keep your Thrustmaster TCA Boeing yoke like this on your desk so that we can start with the setup and installation. We will first remove the accessories and cables which we get in the plastic wrap. So let's remove them one by one. So we get two items which we have right now. One is a mobile phone holder. So let's install that which is a very small step and here it goes. So this is how you will install your mount for mobile phone holder and this is the type C to type A cable which we will check later. Now we get one additional spring to increase the tension on the yoke. So if you are unhappy with the default tension or the pressure or the force which you need to pull the yoke then you can install this. This is a tool that will help you to reopen up the yoke so that you can install the additional spring that we received in the package. Now let's move to the next step. This is a manual sheet which will help you opening up the yoke and increasing its tension. So this is the Thrustmaster TCA throttle quadrant which I had earlier. I had purchased this unit separately. So if you have one like me, you can connect it directly to your yoke. So there is no need to connect your throttle separately with your Xbox or PC and then yoke with a different USB connection. You can connect your throttle with your yoke now. So now let's install or attach the USB type C cable with this yoke. And after we connect, we will receive a notification that the setup has started in the Windows PC. Here we go. We received a notification saying that the device is being set up from Windows 10 and it will take a couple of minutes which may include around one to three minutes so make sure you do not uh, do anything else on your computer to interrupt the process. The setup is completed and the quadrant going and the yoke is set up directly. Now we will open up this website the link is given in the description box below. Search for the TCA yoke in the search box and we will receive two products. Select the one which you purchased. I purchased TCA Yoke Point Edition, so I'll select this one. Now you can see you also get manuals on the same site. So in case you need, you can refer to it. What's important is to download this driver. So after downloading the driver, open the executable software package, which has been downloaded. Now this will install the software package of Thrustmaster and the control panel. On this question, please select no. After selecting no, open your search box on your Windows PC. Open up control panel. Here you can see the status of your yoke and the quadrant. It should be okay. And guys, please pardon my voice. I am not well. The control panel will help you to identify if the yoke is working properly or not. So make sure you do a flight control check on your yoke. Pull the yoke, check all the axes it should reflect on the control panel and it should highlight the green. You can also check all the buttons. If there's any defect, you can contact the retailer or the online store for a replacement. Now open the firmware updater tool. And as you can see, there's a firmware update available. So we will update the device firmware before using it. Click on OK to start downloading the latest firmware and installing it. This will also take a couple of minutes, which is around two to three minutes. So make sure you do not interrupt the process and you are connected to internet. The download has been completed. Now we have to disconnect and then reconnect the yoke with our PC. So after you reconnect the yoke, you will receive a final confirmation that the final check has been completed. Now close the Thrustmaster firmware updater tool. It's set up in the Windows PC is completed. Now let's check out the setup in MSFS 2020. So after opening the MSFS 2020 for the first time, 
you will see controls like this we will open the sensitivity first this is how the default sensitivity looks like and for me i am happy with the default sensitivity it's uh, already configured from thrustmaster which i really like it now the good thing about thrustmaster products is it's already configured so us or uh, we customers do not have to do anything inside msfs 2020 to set up it's already configured it's pre set up and uh, everything is available or you can start flying directly out of the box as you can see all the buttons are already assigned your elevator axis rudder trim and the camera the hat switch pov everything is already assigned and you can start it out of the box even the gear levers and this is how the flight controls check look like in the pmdg 77 as you can see it's working without any delay which is very very good now i will also show you the elevator trim which i really liked it it's already assigned so i did not have to do any single task and this is how the elevator works now let's check the yoke setup in explain 12 for our dear explain users even i have explain 12 so let's begin with explain 12 setup this is how explain 12 setup looks like and in this also the good thing is that most of the buttons are pre-configured but the quality of this X explain 12's uh, controls are not as good or accurate as msfs 2020 so in case you are unhappy you can modify the settings but the landing gear position were inverted so basically up was down and down was up so i had to fix it and few buttons like the elevator trim are not working by default so you have to manually check it or assign it so this is how the flight controls check look like in the zebo 737 in the explain 12 so as you can see it's working without any issues or delay which is very good there is a closer look on the flight controls check and the movement as you can see it's very accurate and i'm happy with the Yo with this the setup is completed technically it was done as soon as we completed everything related to windows setup we did drivers installation ran firmware updater checked the controls for any defect and let windows set up the device as soon as we connected we also saw how all the buttons were pre-configured in msfs 2020 and explain 12 MSFS 2020 controls were on spot perfect, but explain will require some checking on controls before you start the flight. We also saw flight controls check in the PMDG 737 and Zebo 737. That was a lot for this video. Make sure to like it and share it with your flight sim buddies. Thanks so much for staying this far in the video. If you want to see the full unboxing of this yoke, then here is the full video.